Good morning. Headed to Mexico. Going to a lake called Lake Comedero. It is a lake uh, up in the mountains of Mazatlan, Sinaloa. It's a two hour flight from DFW to there. Um, now this lake is a legendary lake. The Guggen Squad has been going there for the past two years, every single year at the same exact time. We landed Mazatlan and then from there we take a two hour to two and a half hour ride on a bus up the mountains of Sinaloa. And we finally arrive at a lake that's as beautiful as anything you've ever seen before. This is the first stop. We are in a... Where are in Mexico? We're in, the, we're, in the, we're in the mountains. I'm kidding, it's just that the second I start vlogging, everybody got quiet. Bye! First stop as usual, and as per usual. Gonna have to get the, the super authentic. It's crazy because everything's super expensive here. You know, like the carne asada is like $200. Tortillas. Tortillas azul. What are we doing? Hello. Day one, <clears throat> best meal I had in a couple of weeks, not gonna lie. Tripod is usually anything I find on the table. Rapid, how are we looking? So full, full of hot seed right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the bill. Luckily, I was, I had some foresight and went to the mall to the cash exchange to get some of these blue monies. This is a 500. You guys have 500s? Apparently it's a thousand too. Oh, the greens are two hondos. 200. Oh, they measure. And then this is... Oh, they pay better. They just lose it. Lose it. Hey, so... So this is uh, Frida Kahlo's uh, yeah. husband. His yeah, name is... Yeah. Diego Rivera is in this one, and then that's Frida, Frida Kahlo. You know Frida Kahlo? The unibrow... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the unibrow masterpiece painter. I don't know what the exchange is. If you guys know, I mean, I guess Google could tell me, but Google doesn't work down here because there's no internet and there's no literal connectivity to the outside world. Luckily, my man, Lake Fork guy, legendary guy. It's the first time we're able to... This one's got to be worth a lot because there's a naked... Girl's butt on there. Yeah, right there you'll notice. Yeah. He is, right there, there's a crack, and that guy's staring at her. Yeah, yeah, he's staring at her butt. He's got a sat phone, which is what we're going to be using to communicate with the outside world. That's a that's a high charge on that. As well. Oh, you did you bring yours? I brought mine. I, bro, I bought one and just didn't bring it. Rate it. Press the ten. Nine. You <laughs> where, where's the ten? Ten is all hot to go. Ooh, it was really good. Uh, Maddie Candy, how did you like it? It was delish. Yeah. <laughs> blue corn tortillas. Mm. I love Mexico. Oh. That's it. I love it. <laughs> B-boy. Hello. Hello. The tree of life, but it's dead. Must be the uh, the amount of hammering it's taken. You know, they put electricity on the fucking tree and shit. <laughs> Look married in this. <laughs> Alright, mate. You got these aunts, yeah? Nothing can stop. They're all the way up. They bite really well, easy. Hard. Come on, put it back. On the way up the mountains, we stopped in a town called Kosala. Kosala is probably the nearest city 
to where we're going to be, and it's two hours away. It's two hours from getting to the cabins. We've officially made it. It is now 6.30, but it feels like it's like 10 from where we're from. Um, is, the, is the mic on? Yeah, yeah, you're good. Oh. Did it? No, that was a good, that was crazy. That was cool. I know, right? Like yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, so it's like 10.30 from where we're from, I think. I don't even know what time zone we're in, but we finally made it to Lake Comedero, the most legendary land of the giants, okay? Land of the giant bass, or in Spanish, Bases Gigantes. No, no, no. The real name. Lovinas Gigantes. Lovinas Gigantes. Not to be confused with Vaginas Gigantes. Uh, but anyway, we've we've made it. We're super psyched. Now the fun begins. I think in total, I think we, we traveled close to eight hours. Two plus six, eight. Math's right. Even in Mexico. Good. Wow. Oh, Damn. Oh, I'm like, like, so cool. so nice. Rob's a maniac. You're so hungry, Rob. That's all you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. You came right. yeah. to Mexico, Flair. Yeah, yeah. where are the waters? He just dangled his stash in the, in the pot. This is the room that I'm going to be staying in. Um, there is no electricity right now? Nope. For some reason? But this is, uh, this is pretty much number two. Cool. If I'm being truthful and honest, it's been a long time since I've stayed in a place like this. But I, I, I ain't no, that ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. Uh, what I am gonna do though, being that we are in Mexico, and then on the way here, um, I, I meant that. I meant when I said that it took close to six to eight hours to get here. Uh, it was a two-hour flight, and then for two hours we messed around. We stopped to get food, but on the road we were close to four and a half hours on the road. Um, on the way here, have you ever seen armadillos crossing the street in, in, in movies or in Texas? A tarantula as big as my face, this big, was crossing the street. You could see it in the distance as we were pulling up to it, and we are going like 80 miles an hour. This thing had massive, massive orange legs, which was something I, I thought it was a crab at first. That's how big the thing was. Uh, but knowing that there are tarantulas here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little flashlight that you see right there, and I am going to do a very, very thorough investigation uh, in every nook and cranny of this room to uh, You nook and cranny of this of this room to make sure that there's no hey, critters no, running right. around. Welcome to Mexico. <laughs> That's the way it goes. What do you say, Ross? Let me make sure I have the right. I'll let you take some spinner baits. I've got two. Yeah. But the chance of me throwing those are probably like five percent. All right. Uh, it's now dinner time. I don't even know what time. I gotta look. Well, the good thing is this. I just found out on the way here. Seven fifty-nine. So it's nine or 10 where I'm from, I don't even know, we're in the west, so it's like 10 where I'm from. Uh, but last time the boys were here, there was no internet, there was no Wi-Fi, there was nothing. Today there's no electricity, but there is Wi-Fi once the electricity comes back, which is uh, a, a big sigh of relief for me, since I'll still be able to communicate with uh, Liv and Jude. So that's like priority number one, uh, more than anything. I can officially say that I've gone close to seven hours without Twitter, without Instagram, without, it's the only two things I use. Uh, and YouTube, yeah, literally, that long, and it's been it's been fine. It hasn't been a, a big a big issue. Anyway, this is not what's for dinner. These are the appetizers that they gave us. Um, they're actually pretty appetizing when they were what when they were hot. But now that they're not, we're gonna go get some actual food. Food? Yeah, you're gonna want you're gonna want to bring that. We got a chart in there that shows every giant fish that's been caught in the last. No, it doesn't. It only shows a few. He's only show a few now? Yeah, you know, they can't put all the fish that have uh. been caught on there. <laughs> is your name still up there? Uh, probably not. What's that? My name's probably not up there anymore, right? It's, well, there's so it many be. charts. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's like, what? Three, What's the biggest fish you've caught? 300. Here. Here, 13 and a half. 13 and a half. Yeah. But he's, dude, but he's caught like 10 million 10 pounders, so that doesn't mean much. Yeah, well, you know, it's a good <laughs> lake. Se seven one is mine. Seven, seven, seven. Uh, I think you're gonna, are you going to fish? Yeah. You'll beat that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> awesome. So we're here for five whole days. Well, as you're watching this, we were here for a total of five days. Are we going the right way? I don't know. I don't know where we're going. Okay. Rob, 
Roger. When you're going. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little tire, is it? Oh, I remember you. <laughs> Robert Turkla. Yeah, yeah, I'm still more. I don't know if I'm All right, so. Look at this. Oh, that's in October. 10. Oh, a 16 to 18 footer. Footer. It was this long. Oh, yeah, it's got to be on here. God, you were to the bottom. No, this is all 18, 18, oh. 18, 18, 17. Steve, this is the day we're going to have tomorrow, right? 10, 3, 9, Damn, 9, this is what I was here. Here's Ronnie. Check out this photo right here. Check out this photo. This boy right here. Let's see. That's Ron Speed Jr. Right there. That's right the boy. Slinging in the mud. <laughs> That's back before he shaved his head. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Ron Turkla, 10-6, 9-0. In a 10-3. Here we go. Yeah, salieron el video. Steve, 11-8. Steve's on this thing at least 40 times. <laughs> so the, the goal is to make it onto that board. And we have five days to make it happen. And we can. the room that I'm sleeping in. It's freezing. There is no uh, electricity and there is no heat. It's, uh, I think they said it's like 50 degrees out right now, but in here it feels colder than it does outside. Uh, I've already done my, my ins investigating and my inspection of the room. I looked under every bed, make sure that there's no Spiders. I mean, as far as I, you know, I, I gave it a good glance over. Okay, it wasn't like I, I literally went in there and looked at absolutely every single corner. Uh, that's the only thing that worries me right now. But it is fucking freezing in here. Uh, anyway, that's uh, that's gonna be it for that's gonna be it for day one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Morning. Are we ready? Are we ready? Morning. Morning. Good. It's 5:03, and it's got to be like 40 degrees. It is freezing in here. Rob, it's 5.30? Yeah. The roosters are going crazy. Still no power in Mexico. Still no power in Mexico. We went to bed at around... I can't even tell you. Uh, like 9.30? 10.30? 11? I don't even know. But it, it, that, the, the yellow lights right there, you see our cops. Anyway, we're headed to breakfast now. Uh, it is super sketchy. The, the, it's amazing, actually. If you can see the amount of stars that I'm looking at right now, I'll do this so you guys can see me a little bit better. If you can see the lights in the sky, and I'm not talking about aliens, I'm talking about the stars. It's incredible. It's a beautiful, beautiful countryside. Beautiful countryside. What's up, Pooch? You still out here, brother? Those bars are fun. <laughs> This is the part. Oh, wait, Justin, Justin, hey, Justin, hey, Justin. Hey. Anyway, so I was saying, this is what we call the case of the wet ass. Yes. And that's because we're going to be sitting on wet ass. Or ass wet. Wait, we're wet and the ass is. Uh, I'm actually super psyched. 
So I've been telling everybody that uh, from, from here that since February 9th, my birthday last world, the weekend of February 9th last year, I haven't caught a single fish. We were at Lake Fork, it was as cold as it is right fucking now, which is brass fucking monkeys. And I could not be any happier to be here today. I'm gonna put my, my buff back on. The super limited edition Bashers buff. Gonna make these snow more. Let's get it. Legendary Lake Fork guy. He said, he and I, well, I've been trying to fish with him for over close to like five years. Close to five years. And it wasn't until Rob became a little bit famous that he gave us the time of day. That <laughs> uh, I was a working man back uh, then. Y'all were having to fun. Totally kidding, totally kidding. But uh, after that long, I'm finally, you know, getting a chance to catch some fish next to the, to, to the grate. So right now we're gonna make a short run. I don't know what it is but I'm just not fe feeling the fluoro. And I don't know why Rob makes me throw fluoro all the time, but I listen and I catch, so I guess he's right. I just like braid, it's heavier, I have more control over, there's no, there's no, uh, what do you call that? Give, man. There's no just give. straight yank. Straight yank, just, just lift. But look at the scenery in this area. It is ink, I gotta put my, my hater blockers on. Look at this, look at that. Music time. Yeah. Literally in the middle of casting, and then I just realized, I took the moment to look up, and it's inc this place is literal heaven. Look at this little cove that we just hit, like everything just, it, we are in a literal mountain full of mountains with a lake in the middle of the mountains. And it's beautiful. Look, he's about to catch a fish. Full scent. Yeah, yeet. Oh, setting up, lining up the hook set. Tee up, silence please, giving it a dangle. Yeah, too pretty here. Look at those fruits. I wonder what those fruits are on that tree. Which one? The, the one above the uh, pink tree. I told you guys, it, it doesn't take long for this guy to, to really bring in Las Lavinas. I got it. Oh, he munched it good. Nice. That a boy there, Rackley. <laughs> of mountainous terrain all across this area. Everywhere that you go, there's sections off of this big volcano that we're sitting, I'm, I'm not kidding, I'm just, I don't know if there's a volcano. I was just joking. Uh, throw a little pop, a little popper. See if we can make some magic happen finally. Justin has caught uh, eight, eight and a five, three. Is that right? Five and a six this morning on Toppy. And a six this morning on Toppy. I've only caught like a three. Oh no, I've caught several small ones, but we need a big one. We need to get on that board. That's what I need. Badly. I just don't know what to. I've been throwing this, this popper all day long and it just hasn't been working, so I might have to tell Justin to pass me a different one. I just want you to know one thing. And I mean this when I say this. This lake has zero fucking fish. Okay, been out here for close to like seven hours. Caught nothing because there's some fucking fish here. I can't even catch a tan. I took a pee and it almost caught a tan, but put it back in, still pink. Super, super slow for me today. Um, early, early morning we caught that, well I caught that like three pounder, but ever since then I've gotten nothing, not a bite, not a anything. Uh, I don't feel bad because this is my first time fishing here. 
and it's been close to like seven to eight months since I last fished anything or cast it. So I'm gonna blame it on the on the fact that 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 I haven't I have, I have no practice and the fact that we don't have the secret power to form the secret sauce called the Chartreuse Louisiana hot sauce. Yeah, I fished with Rob tomorrow. It's so fucking great. No. Um, so we just we just pulled in. I think everybody started to to uh, to pull in. Um, but we had a incredible incredible time. I, I cannot emphasize how incredible this landscape is. It's it's mountainous terrain, but it is one of those. I don't know. I, I don't even know how to explain it. Unt it, it th this this picture doesn't do it the tiniest little bit of justice. It doesn't. It's incredible. Beautiful. The colors. I mean, everything. It's just <gasps> the nature. Gosh darn it. Exactly what I wanted to see when I got back into my room. An iguana or whatever. A gecko. Something. <sighs> Damn it. Oh my god. If that isn't one of the best days that I've ever had in my life, I don't know what is. Okay, again, I, I always feel like I have to give this disclosure. Obviously, you know, Liv's birth, you know, my marriage to my wife, my family. Like, put That, obviously, it's in its own separate thing. From an adventure standpoint, if this isn't one of the best years I've ever had, in my best days I've ever had in my life, I don't know what is. I've never in my life thought that I'd be able to... I, I, I don't even think a paradise like the one that lives here lives. I didn't know that this paradise existed. That's the only way that I could ever describe a place like this one. It is a literal paradise. Everything about it is beautiful. Everything. There's nature. There's water. There's mountains. 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 I cannot tell you how many mountains. Uh, look, there's lemons. You know who everybody says? It's a lemon tree. Who's, who's one of the oldest guys who on the on the tour today besides besides Roller? Look at this. Look at this. So this is the, 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 the headquarters where we're, where we're all sitting. Uh, all the, the Guggen boys are right there. Uh, but yeah, look at this. This is an incredible, incredible place. In what world do you see cactus that tall? That tall. It's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for tonight. Um, and although this is a vlog that is continuous, this is, a, this is a, more of a semi it's 10 percent a documentary okay it's, it's like a vlog a long formatted vlog that goes on you know day after day after day after that um so this is what i call a world record longest vlog in the history of that so anyway let's get to day number two good morning it's time to get up. Man, okay, it, it, same as yesterday, it's super fucking cold in here. So cold. Can't stand it. Whew. Let's get some breakfast. All right, breakfast has been acquired. It is in me belly. Took my morning poop. I'm ready to go. Today, my partner is none other than the super legend himself, Mr. Rob Turkle. T today, PBs are gonna get broken. PBs? It's not peanut butter. P P B P B P B. You gamers is uh, personal best. Mine is a seven one. Cut in Lake Okeechobee with Captain Dave Schneider. But today we need like a like an eight just to get on the. We need to get on the board to fucking day. Go for nines. Nines. <laughs> John B with the nines. We got another legend coming up right now. His name is Perry. Oh sh. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> top water spook instead of top water. We use top water, but no spooks until the afternoon. Ooh.
Yeah. Think I got one? Yeah. No. Yeah, you yes, I do. I still do. No. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I feel savvy. Feeling true? I don't think so. There we go. That one's going away. That one's going away. Flip him. Flip that son of a gun. Ready? Woohoo! There you go. All right. That's going to be a nice. Yeah. nice one. It's over three. That's that bandito, baby. Oh, I like it, Steve. You like it? Oh, beautiful. Look at this. Oh, this is the biggest fish I've caught all year, 100%. Is it really? Yeah. All right, here we go. Four. Here, hold it like that, yeah. Four, four. Four, four, six. Four, four, six. There you go. Do you want a photo? No. No? No. No? No. no. Four, four, six. Four, four, six. Four, four, six. Tell them I'm coming. So far, uh, I've caught uh, close, I, th I think three. One of them was a uh, four, four, six. Um, so we're on the board for seven pounds, I think. Well, no. Yeah, seven pounds, right? Seven pounds. So we're on the board for seven pounds. It's a $100 bet, guys. This is serious business, goddammit. All right, so we just uh, pulled in to do a little bit of lunch. Yesterday we had lunch on the water, and it was delicious, but today was a little bit better because we got to sit down in the shade and eat it which made the tacos a little bit more bearable. Uh, we're going back out there right now. I talk about beauty. ¿Para qué? ¿Para qué es? ¿Para qué la, la queremos soltar para que se vaya, que está atorada, se va a morir sin... sin oh, sí, sí, claro. ¿Y cómo la van a agarrar, pues? So, uh, we just found this eagle. And right now we're going to unhook it. There we go. Because it was... Uh, Ay, ay. Le llegaste por el frente, güey. Ey, pero agua con mi dedo. Dije, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué le pasó? ¿En qué se atoró? Se atoró con un... Estaba pescando un pescador de y lo aventó así. Y agarró el... Agarró el huracán. ¿Qué es para la Ya. ¿Qué fue? Lo atrojó al dedo. ¡Arre con la que barre! Eres libre. Mejor, ¿verdad? So this eagle got caught in a net. There it goes. All right. So now it's in a in a better position to really take out. It's kind of rest though because it's been struggling the entire time not to get trying to get out. All right, day one has come to an absolute end. Uh, it was one of the toughest. Look, uh, as I keep on saying in the videos, and I'm not going to get tired of saying it, uh, whether I catch fish or not, I literally couldn't care less. The, the, uh, it'd be nice, yeah, it'd be the cherry on top, yeah, but a vacation like this, I've never taken. And it's, uh, and, and I'm doing whatever I can to, I haven't checked Twitter, I haven't checked Instagram. I have the ability to do so, but I just haven't done it. Um, and you know, if you're still watching this video, I, I thank you. I know that you guys didn't sign up for this or you guys didn't subscribe to this specific sort of content this, that is fishing, but it's such a big part of, uh, of my life that, you know, it's, uh, it's what I, what I want to do. And, uh, and to be honest, I'm uploading it for me. You know, I, I want to be 40 years from now, being able to recall all the footage that I've captured, you know, show my grandkids, you know, if, if, uh, if live, you know, has kids or, you know, if, I don't know. I just, it, it's, 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 I don't know how to explain it. I hope you understand. It's fucking freezing in here again. Buenos días. Buenos días. 
every morning it's the exact same routine. Yeah. Which which oh, can well, no no you're good you're good. <laughs> Andrew Flair. Uh, but every morning is like the exact same routine, which which kind of messes with your mind. Like I've never been in a situation or in a position where I wake up. So the first song, what so, what movie is that where they wake you up with the same song every single day and you just go fucking crazy? Anyway, I'm on day three. Is it? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's like Groundhog Day with Bill Murray, the uh, very popular 1990s movie. Not kidding. Uh, so yeah, every day is like you wake up, take a shit, brush your teeth, go eat, get on a boat, fish all day, come back, eat, uh, come back, eat, and then do it all over again. It's crazy. Anyway, super excited for breakfast, super excited. Third day, the third day is the charm, as they say. It's time to, to handle it every single day. It's all saying it's the same exact thing you do. You wake up, you do everything, thing, every same thing. All right, brother. We've all had a tough day, tough si, days. So what are we doing? Si, senor. Uh, tercer día aquí en Comedero. And today, we're hoping, praying. we're hoping and praying for that big, big, Mundo as Justin Rackley. What are you throwing it. today? What's going to be you go to? Uh, what do you think is going to be the warm. one? Mundo warm. Yeah? I'm sticking to it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Flair, what are you throwing it today? What's, what's going to be your go to? We'll go to. Swim bait or spinner bait, I think. Yeah? Rack Rackley just smoked him on that swim bait yesterday and I watched him do it all day. So bring out that swim bait, spinner bait, and we'll get it done. Russ, what are we throwing today? We're going to throw a little bit of top water. Uh, we're going to be flipping a little bit. And then we're, the just, water. then we're just gonna make stuff up, stuff up as we go on. And see as we on. always do. Yeah. We're going for them jigs all day, right, Flair? We got the <laughs> Well, oh, it's, no, no it's, that's it's not what I, that's not got, what I had. Why <laughs> 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 is teammates? Because we're, <laughs> we're on the same page. Yeah, man, we like, no. the same way. like, yeah, swim we're going, base, yeah. Like, yeah, we're and we're going deep on some Modellos. That's the key. We, we're drinking oh, water all day. We're drinking a lot of water. We're staying hydrated. We're gonna be the most hydrated team out there. Yeah, that's fine, Will. Modelo is the key. You pour a little out in the water too, right when you get up. Ooh, you just ooh. pour a little out. Oh, I like that. That's gangster as fuck. <laughs> you a thug, dude. Well, morning. How's it going, guys? What do you What do you think? What do you throw today? What do you think is gonna be your your literal puller outer? Um, I think I think uh, that the craw is gonna put big bass in my boat. The, the kraken? No, no, no. The trench. Or actually, the hog. Trench hog. The trench hog. Mm -hmm. I like it. Big only like today. Good luck. Like Thank you. Exit light. Enter night. Bring Ready to catch a big fish? Goal for today, if you must ask, is to catch. Today I'm going to enjoy the scenery and to catch some fish. You gonna fish hard though? I'm gonna fish hard as fuck. <laughs> Fishing has not been fished harder than fucker than I'm about to. You know what I'm saying? Perry, what are you throwing today? The jig, like everybody else. Is that what you're throwing? Yes. Let's do it. I, I believe you're gonna get one today. Yeah? Oh, what do you need, seven and a half? Yeah, seven two. Keep flipping the jig. Where's this is, one? all right, so so this, this is from, uh, Everybody here wants me to catch a big fish, and I appreciate I want everybody here to catch a, a big fish, too. But I think, like, everybody's, like, almost pitying me. But it doesn't feel good. I was telling the camera how all of you guys are pitying me, because you guys all, they're like, oh, we want him to, we want you to catch one. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, you know, I appreciate it, but now it's starting to feel like you guys think that I fucking can. No, you can't. No. You're going to catch a seven plus today. It's going to happen. Yeah, did you see that board up there? I did. I'm going to be on it. Yeah. You saw Today's my name up there? Just I visualized I've, it. I've, I dreamt it last night. <coughs> yeah, I saw it. It's, it's time to be a board member. Na oh! Like it. Member of the board. Double All right, so far spot number two has been completely dead. And it has been. I mean, so, so we're used to it, obviously, because the last two days have been super, super slow. And I'm starting to think that I'm the curse of the, of the, of the fish. Drop it right in there. 
someone there. They come a knocking. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. If at first you don't succeed. This is day four. I feel like absolute shit. So much so that I didn't even bring my camera. I just put my iPhone. I got the GoPro, but that's about it. I need a big fucking fish today. A big fucking fish. Uh, well, it's a, it's a new personal best for me. Uh, I'm super, super hype about it. Like, I, I cannot tell you, my, my, my best, my personal best before that was 7-1, uh, and this one happens to be 8-3, right, right brother. on the money. Uh, Spinnerbait is what we were throwing, a little chartreuse with the, uh, what's at the bottom? The Eliminator. With the Eliminator, look at this. And we're gonna release it now because I've held it out for way, way. Wash her around a little bit. Yeah. Not quite the 10 that I was looking for, but... See you, lovely. <laughs> Trip made. Trip made. Trip made. Awesome. But it was, uh, it was still good. Oh, it was long time. Oh, God. Oh, so I started I started this video with me talking about how the goal for this weekend was to be on this board. So the, the goal is to make it onto that board and we have five days to make it happen. I was standing right here and I said to the camera, I'm like the goal is to get on this board. I bullshit you not, the last cast of the weekend, the last, very, very last throw. I made the board with an 8-4. How crazy is that? Very last 